um, and that allows now Peter Graff speaking for our, our speakers. Um, and our next is uh, Nigel Lippmann. One thing that Grayling has done, one positive thing that Grayling has done, for it is the duty of the advocate to mitigate, is to unify the, pro the profession. Are there any barristers here? Are there any solicitors here? Share yeah, the love, brothers. Share yeah, the love, sisters. Barristers and solicitors stand together like never before. Also with paralegals and all lawyers, with judges, with Treasury Council, united in condemnation of Grayling's cuts and their proposals. Give each other a hug. <laughs> it's appropriate then that we turn from our last speaker representing the solicitors profession to a representative for the criminal bar. The Chinese say, may you live in interesting times, but they mean that as a curse. And this is certainly a challenging year to be the head of the CBA. But rising to that challenge, please welcome Nigel Lippmann QC. I'd like to imagine, guys, we stand here. before the mother of parliament in the mother of all democracies. It takes centuries and much sacrifice for a democracy to emerge. A part of that is the rule of law and the independent judiciary and with it an independent legal profession. We need to move our grades to get inside. Shall I try this one? Okay, yes! I'll start again. We stand before the mother of parliaments and the mother of all democracies. It takes centuries and sacrifice for a democracy to emerge. As part of that is the rule of law and the independent judiciary and an independent legal profession. An indispensable part of our democracy is the criminal justice system. It's taken centuries to build. It is taking this government a blink of an eye to demolish. It is difficult to imagine how any more damage can be done to this system. And the whole system is in revolt as to what is happening. To destroy one part of the legal system may be regarded as a misfortune. To destroy all of them looks like carelessness. People have been deprived of legal aid. This country will introduce a system of law for the rich and not for the poor. People are being stopped from judicially reviewing the acts of government. The prison service appointed a company that has behaved fraudulently. The probation service is outraged by what has been done and his own team will not sign off the review. The old system is being swept away. This Ministry of Justice is inept. It is not fit for purpose and it is an embarrassment to the rest of the government when they proclaim the need for social mobility as we approach, for instance, Saturday, Women's Day of Independence. If only you could all see the number of emails I receive from single mothers who say they simply cannot afford to either come or to stay within the criminal justice system and they are just part of the emails that I receive. Our hearts bleed as the hundreds of solicitors firms are forced to close their door. A solicitor will no longer be available on a high street near you. For the bar, the defendants will end up defending themselves. Can you imagine if we were medics, can you imagine diagnosing and treating yourself? It is a farce and a tragedy. We are, the criminal bar, possibly the second oldest profession. 
We are certainly the most restrained in Britain. For us to take to the streets and close the courts, all cannot be well. For centuries we have done some of the most important work in society. We have prosecuted the most serious cases to ensure the guilty are convicted. We have defended those who are and may be innocent to safeguard people against wrongful conviction. Now the criminal bar can no longer afford to practice. We are no longer prepared to do this work. We are being shown no goodwill, so we will respond and we too will show no goodwill. <laughs> Magna Carta has no place with this Minister of Justice. He is killing criminal justice and we won't let him. Thank you, Nigel, let's see you. Okay, um, we know how hard it is.